I heard about Queens in my undergraduate um, courses uh, from a professor who did his sabbatical work here, and he actually pub recently published a book on Northern Ireland. Um, so he highly re recommended uh, coming here. So the public, other public history program I was looking into back in the United States, the area I would live in, I, live in, I wasn't interested in the history at all. So I feel like because there is so much to, um, la there's layers of history and layers of narratives and community stories to be told and to understand from different perspectives here. It was a lot more fascinating for me to come here and learn about that firsthand. It was actually cheaper for me to come abroad in that sense. And here at Queens, it was affordable and Belfast is an affordable place to live. So I think for me, that was like kind of the main draw. I came at an interesting time, definitely, especially in terms of politics. Um, so I did get a couple questions, but I think also about the elections but you actually get a chance to really have a conversation with people. And then that can, you can gain new perspectives because of that. Um, and you can try to understand different uh, ideas. And uh, so I, I definitely felt welcome though. Um, our professors, I, I, the public history program, the professors have been awesome, in my opinion. My dissertation advisor, uh, Neve Cullen, has been awesome. Um, she's definitely helped me hone in on what I want to do. Um, Leona Hannon um, and Sean O'Connell. Um, he was the one that kind of introduced oral history um, with uh, to the program, and so we got to um, really dive deep into it. I had a really awesome experience uh, internship-wise. I was so lucky that I got to work at the McClay Library and um, I was with the Special Collections team and I uh, completely transformed the direction of my career. <laughs> I came in thinking, oh yeah, curation and maybe being a professor and now I'm like archive work. I absolutely loved it. I immersed myself into it. I was um, working with a collection that's not yet available to the public. I got to learn new skills I didn't have before. Um, Deidre and Kira, who were my supervisors, were awesome. I'm still in contact with them, so it's been great. Northern Ireland for is like beautiful. I love traveling up to the North Coast and exploring different places, meeting new people and learning different um, things that I didn't know about, pieces of history that I didn't know about, being able to go to the actual historical sites. So we'll hear about something or I'll learn about something through your professor or even a classmate. It's really um, an immersive experience. Elms definitely has, with Willow Walk, you definitely feel like how it's set up. You definitely feel like you're a part of a community. And you know, especially with postgraduate students, I feel like you're, you want more of like independent living and um, but at the same time you still feel like you're in a community because there's kids running around and there's families and different walks of life all around and you get to meet new people. I really um, have gotten to know like my neighbors and stuff like that so I always recommend study abroad. I feel like you grow as a person. It Not only does it create new opportunities career-wise or professionally um, but I feel like you grow as a person and you create and um, new opportunities for yourself. Um, it, it can change the direction of where you want to go in life. You can learn new skills that you didn't think that you would have learned back home. Um, and you meet new people and it's always amazing to have those connections across the world. 